Hello, you beautiful human beings. Step into your slippers, pour yourself some champers. Let's have a good look at this. Now, I'm going to mention something immediately. And everybody who's watched my channel for any length of time will know what I'm going to say immediately. The idea at the depth of field focus is to draw attention on a focal point the focal point usually being the character or the set piece that you're trying to draw attention to the trouble with using it so much this is an exploration game the idea is for this character to look out and see something to explore but in this case it's turned up just that little bit too much and everything becomes just a backdrop a blurry backdrop to the focal point which is the character the character doesn't really should not be the focal point the focal point should be the exploration so the obvious option here is to either remove that depth of field effect so the focus is where it should be or reduce it to such an extent that it doesn't intrude so much upon the exploration side of it other than that this is delightful wonderful I like the music that little gentle touch now there are different ways to go and I haven't explored this way so just for the sake of it I'm going to try going a different way if I if I can if I can't perhaps I can't I don't know but I haven't explored this way I love the coloration of this it's not too much it all blends in quite nicely can't walk up those stairs without jumping I always think if you're going to have stairs I've said this a million times but if you're going to have stairs the character must be able to walk into it and the only advice I can give you because I'm not that versed with the creation side of it as I should be is to use the old little big planet trick of putting an invisible slope there it doesn't really matter if his feet don't touch each step perfectly the illusion is still there and it works a treat so yeah I would uh, consider doing that it's a little sort of touch but uh, I'm not sure I can go that way maybe I can get up there somehow I know if I jump I get a little bit of a lift so I will just risk one no no it's not gonna let me do that so I will uh, at least I didn't die unless I can't pull that without 20 although I have to gather some on the way around this way so perhaps that is the secret yeah the, uh, the coloration is wonderful I love this light you see that the way the light is just below the horizon there it's almost dipped almost as if looking at a sunset or a sunrise I love that effect the way it illuminates the edge gives this depth but I would highly recommend getting rid of that depth of field effect it doesn't bring depth of field to the table as I've said many times it's just not quite good enough in dreams at the moment it simply adds a Vaseline blurry effect which detracts from your creation because this is so wonderfully done it's a pity that I can't see beyond that second one everything becomes a bit of a blur all the detail is lost now I need 10 there's something I, now I would imagine one is over here so I'm gonna have to I right, there's one 
Nice tree as well. And now I've got to get back. That new effect that, that, that's associated with dream sequences is a nice effect. So now I've got that, I can return, I believe. I've been that way, so this is the way to go. Very nice. See, the focal point is only... It's very, very shallow, isn't it? The focal point should be everything. If you're going to add depth of field, do it with light. My immediate thought would be... to up the sharpness and remove the depth of field. But that made that thought of up in the sharpness could be just because of the depth of field making everything look fuzzy and blurry, that Vaseline look. You see, you're focusing on the character, but this game is about exploration. The focus should be on where you're exploring, not the character that's exploring the environment. So why not have both? Focus on the character and on the exploration. Now, I did get up here before. What was that? Did I just do something there? I did get up here before, but I found it a little bit... Um, there wasn't what you would call an obvious way. That is the obvious way, but it's not signposted very well. That may be well be on purpose, but so, you know... I don't see any reason why the direction you're meant to go shouldn't be signposted to a degree, at least, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I could see what the creator's going for. If you're watching this, I can see what you're going for. But just turn it right off, and if you really feel as if you need that depth of field, just tap it. Tap it until you can make out it's there, but it's not there to a degree that it detracts from the actual creation itself. You won't find this in Media Molecules creations. Look at how they've done it. Play the single player game they've made. That piece, that masterpiece basically, that they created with Dreams. Look at every effect they've used in that. Don't just play it, inspect it. Take it to pieces. They've used this game perfectly. Every element. I'd, I'm, I'm a bit worried I've missed something because I need 10 to get across. Oh, I must have got the 10 because that wasn't there before. Ah, I see. But I love the style of this, the presentation. It's very nicely done. But what really makes this work, strangely enough, is the music. You change the music on this, it would change the tonality of it entirely. That could be it. I don't know how short it is.
Wonderful. Wonderful. No, it isn't. I am so pleased with that because I'm enjoying this. Oof. The character slowed down somewhat. Welcome to the cum Cumulus Kingdom. Cumulus. It's a particular type of cloud, isn't it? A cumulus. I used to know all this stuff. My vocabulary is somewhat diminished. The something is slowing this town. Something. I wonder if it's because you've got a lot of paint. Slowed it down to a crawl. We are in the clouds though, so that kind of fits. <laughs> cool. <coughs> Gibberish is really good in games because it allows you to put in different languages. All you have to do is change the text and give the people the option to turn the different languages on. Obviously you'd have to sort the grammar out because different languages have different grammar. grammar. But it gives you that option, makes it easier. Now, I can almost mix, reach that middle when they're turning, so the idea of having these spokes is a little bit um, redundant. You might want to think about that a little bit. Same with that walk. I could cut that right out just by jumping. Ah. Yeah, I think it's because it's a complex level that's slowing. It slowed right down. Now here is the... I can't see whether I'm meant to be able to reach that. Let me have a go. Yes. Got it. I'd love to be able to see this. I'd love to be able to see that clearly. All that detail is lost. If I mean you've got your you've got your your mid ground, you've got your foreground, you've got your mid ground, and you've got your background. The background could have can afford to be just a little bit blurry. Not much. But I'm looking out as an adventurer and I'm looking for places to explore and unless I can see those places clearly that idea of exploration is broken somewhat I think I go over there do I? I do there's some steps there. Can I climb down those steps? Now, that was... I think that's back to where I came from. Although I can see a star, I think. Yeah, that's a cog there. So maybe I do go that way. So I will go that way. And there's something over there as well. That's where I came from. Ah. 
There must be one, I was going to say. There has to be one hidden in here somewhere. I can see a lot of work has gone into this. A lot of thought. A lot of detail. Is that anything down there? I've already been there. I like the character as well. Yeah, nice little animation. I'm assuming they're checkpoints. I imagine they are. Yeah, that view would be so much better. I'd love to be able to see those windmills properly in the background there. Think of that. Look where the focus is there. Like I said, best option is to look at Medium Molecule's story mode about art and examine it and look at every special effect they've used in that. They've used nearly every effect there is available in this game. Look how they've used it. Very nice, Liv. I mean, seriously good. Very good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Where am I? Ah! Oof. Nearly went. Next checkpoint. Strong updraft ahead. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of floating, obviously. <coughs> right, so. I'm imagining that's it. Nice, very nice. I would keep his umbrella out there, though. You know, makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, try this bit here. Yeah, I would keep his umbrella out until he actually hits the ground. Oh, Manu, I can see why you've got a problem there. Yeah, it works there, doesn't it? That animation. Maybe set it up so that it only does it, it doesn't do it on those moments where he's getting pulled up by the wind, the draft. I'm sure there's some up here somewhere. There's a bubble. It's a prize bubble. You know, I keep getting these prize bubbles and I've asked several times, but I don't appear to be able to find any of them anywhere not like I could in Little Big Planet whoa okay I took the hint I've got to move on be nice to be able to just see how far I've come you can more or less but 
Do you, you know what I'm saying? I've said it several times now. <laughs> I know I'm labouring a point. But I've been labouring this point since the release of Dreams. So I don't know why I would stop now. We got to another one here somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. This way. Oh dear, let me get to the middle. No, I didn't make it. Oof, I didn't make that either. So, let's get across here. Stand at the very end. Yeah, you see? There's very little I can do there because of the cannon. Ooh, only just made it. So I've got to land on those next. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Very good stuff, though. As I've said, though, I, I won't. I won't criticise anything other than the things I like and the creators I respect and love. Hmm. Pull that switch over there. Okay. You've, uh, you've activated the Tesla whip. Fast travel between pylons. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So I've got to get up the up the stairs. Nice. Nice. So that takes me back. I see. So now I can access that last place, I'm assuming. Or do I go to a different one? Maybe I go to a different one, do I? Ah! There's one on the end here somewhere, I just saw it. I can't turn the camera around. Hmm. So, what do I do now? There's a there's a Tesla thing there. So where's the where's the part? Maybe go back on here again. Welcome to the Cumulus Kingdom. Hmm, there's one up there. Maybe I use this one to go over to the f that that would imagine that would take me straight back to where I started. That would just yeah, that would just take me back there. There was somewhere at the very beginning, wasn't there? So maybe I go back. There's... We'll soon find out. Maybe not. No. Nope. Maybe there's just some steps at the back of this, then there's there. Perhaps. Some way of getting up. Unless I can jump from over here. I can always try that. Mm, doubt that very much. Oh, I know about how many ships. Flooded. And she needs repair. A fuse to get it going again. Oh, wait a minute. Have I missed something then? I should have read it as usual. <laughs> I tend to get lost in the graphics. 
Okay, so I need a fuse. So what have I missed? Let me go back here in case I've missed it. So where's the fuse? Let's have a look. Open... Ah, oh, well. Silly me. Silly me. I nearly did that too. I didn't bother. Very nice. Very nice. I'd love to see the rest of that. Like I said, I would just consider getting rid of that depth of field. Completely getting rid of it. And if you don't want to get rid of it, just just nudge it. Just nudge it. Other than that, this is fantastic, man. I love it. As you can see, I played a lot longer than I expected I would. I was just going to take a, a very brief look at it, but decided I couldn't stop. So, yeah. It grabbed me. It's fantastic. There's just that one thing. That one thing. But it's all that's left for me to say is my usual fairly well doodle pip. Au revoir. And all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video, folks. I'll perhaps see you on the next one. Bye.